All right, hi everyone. I'm Dr. Michael Cooper. I'm the medical director at Interwell and a board certified psychiatrist. I really appreciate you all of you coming out today uh, for my talk about Interwell and considering uh, treatment at our practice. So this is the agenda for today. Again, very thankful to have you all here and considering Interwell for treatment. Uh, I'm going to share a bit about my background in psychiatry and psychedelic medicine, give a brief overview of the use of psychedelics in psychiatry, and then dive into the history of ketamine treatment and what we offer here at Interwell. And as a disclaimer, this webinar is for educational purposes only, and it's not uh, formal medical advice. So I first became interested in ketamine uh, when I was doing research at Zucker Hillside Hospital in Long Island. Uh, we were looking at the use of ketamine as an anesthetic agent during ECT uh, to enhance the antidepressant effects of ECT, also known as electroconvulsive therapy. Uh, and that's when I first really started to understand the potential of ketamine as an antidepressant medication. Uh, and then when I was a psychiatry resident at New York University, I was a research therapist on a phase two trial of psilocybin-assisted psychotherapy for alcoholism. And I also was very struck by the potential for psilocybin, which is magic mushrooms, to treat uh, alcohol use disorder. And again, it was fueling my passion for, for psychedelic treatment and psychiatry. And then towards the end of residency, I completed a ketamine-assisted psychotherapy training course and became certified in ketamine treatment and learned how to administer ketamine via a variety of methods, oral, IV, and IM, uh, to patients for treatment of depression and other conditions. Uh, from there, I moved from New York City to California, where I worked uh, in the East Bay at a hospital, and I was administering IV ketamine uh, to patients who were hospitalized for various medical conditions, terminal illnesses, and really was amazed by how ketamine quickly helped patients uh, sort of radically accept uh, their, their condition and uh, really rapidly alleviated a lot of the depression and anxiety they had associated with uh, their terminal illnesses. Uh, from there, I started a private practice where a colleague and I administer ketamine uh, orally over Zoom and provide psychotherapy while a patient takes ketamine over Zoom. Uh, and then I became the associate medical director at Valera Health, which is a telepsychiatry practice in nine states. Uh, and then now currently, uh, since last September, I've been the medical director at Interwell, where we offer at-home ketamine treatment for patients. Now, a brief overview of psychedelics and psychiatry. There are four major classes of psychedelics. The classical ones are LSD, psilocybin, mescaline, ayahuasca. These work on the serotonin receptors in the brain. Uh, another major class is an intactogen or empathogen. Uh, MDMA, also known as ecstasy, is the, the major uh, compound in that class of psychedelics. Uh, dissociatives is a third category of psychedelic medicine, and ketamine is the notable compound in that particular class. And ketamine is very unique in terms of its actions on the glutamate system in the brain and the NMDA receptors. And then there are some of the atypical hallucinogens like ibogaine, uh, which works uh, on multiple neurotransmitter systems, including the kappa receptors. These are some major studies with psychedelics undergoing uh, investigation at a lot of notable academic institutions throughout the US and the world. Um, this really highlights the excitement uh, behind psychedelic medicine as a way of revolutionary, revolutionizing mental health treatment. This is typically what a uh, treatment session looks like in these psychedelic clinical studies. Uh, the, the subject or patient lies on the couch, they put an eye, sh eye mask on, and they listen to music uh, during their journey, and then you'll have one or two therapists who sit with the patient and help kind of guide them along in their session and, and talk with the patient as things come up uh, during the experience. All right, now moving into ketamine treatment. So here's the molecule of ketamine. And as far as its history, it was first discovered in 1956 and then was approved for use as an anesthetic agent in the US in 1970. And from there it was used extensively for surgical anesthesia in the Vietnam War uh, due to its safety. Uh, it's on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, and it's also available as a generic medicine very inexpensively. And over the last 30 years, it's been extensively studied for treatment of depression, anxiety, and PTSD, as well as addiction via a number of different methods, intravenous, intramuscular, intranasal, and oral. Here at Interwell, we offer the oral method of ketamine treatment. And also to note, intranasal ketamine, also known as Spravato, was FDA approved for treatment-resistant depression in 2019, as well as major depressive disorder with suicidal ideation in 2020. 
This is a chart showing the, the way ketamine works on the brain. It, again, it works on a variety of different receptors, uh, notably the NMDA uh, receptor, and it has a lot of downstream effects in the brain. The important thing to note is that in combination of all these effects, uh, it re results in a relief of depression. It also creates the opportunity for neuroplasticity in the brain, which is the brain's ability to form new connections and allows the person who takes, the, takes ketamine to have a different perspective on their life, to be open to new ideas and new ways of uh, behaving and, and operating in the world. These are two major categories of the effects of ketamine. Uh, the lower doses tend to produce a trance or psycholytic state where a patient might feel very relaxed, more sociable. Um, they're able to access uh, painful memories or other aspects of their life that they wanna focus on and, and talk more about and think about. And then as you move more towards the moderate and higher doses of ketamine, it becomes more psychedelic in that it kind of helps change the person's uh, perception. Uh, they might feel like they're floating a little bit outside of their body. They might feel like they're kind of merging with their environment, feeling a sense of oneness or connection with the world around them and with other people. It can be very uh, euphoric and also uh, qu quite distinct in terms of how it shifts uh, your consciousness to a different state of mind. And here at Interwell, we work with both types of effects with ketamine, kind of depending on what the patient's approach and treatment for and their, their prior uh, mental health history as well. The most common side effects of ketamine, if they occur, tend to be blurry vision, headache, dizziness, uh, grogginess, uh, euphoria, mild anxiety, and dissociation. There's also a transient increase in blood pressure and heart rate that can occur in about 20% of patients. So we do require that all patients check their blood pressure prior to starting each ketamine session to ensure it's within the normal range. Uh, we also advise patients to fast for three hours prior to each ketamine session to reduce the risk of nausea. Um, it's okay to drink water and other fluids leading up to the session, but we recommend not eating for three hours prior to it. Uh, here at Interwell, we definitely look at the euphoria and the dissociation effects as part of the therapeutic effects of ketamine. If patients are prepared adequately to understand that these effects can be very healing and an opportunity for growth, patients can utilize these effects for many psychological benefits. Um, very rarely, ketamine has been shown to cause bladder inflammation, liver inflammation, and cravings for the drug, but these adverse reactions have mainly been observed in individuals who are abusing high doses of ketamine on, on a daily basis and not in any therapeutic context. Again, these are the routes of ketamine administration, oral, intranasal, intramuscular, and intravenous. Um, they all kind of have their pros and cons. Uh, we use the oral method at Interwell because we believe it's um, the easiest for patients to take. They can take oral tablets at home. It doesn't require getting a, a, a line connected to your vein and having it being fused, and you don't have to get an injection in your muscle for it. Um, it's very safe and easy to take the oral method. These are the duration of ketamine's effects. Uh, typically, the effects begin in about 10 or 15 minutes after letting the tablet be absorbed uh, under your tongue and, and through your cheeks. Uh, and then in about 15 minutes, you begin to feel the peak effects of ketamine, which lasts about 20 minutes. And there's about a 20 minute come down period. So the overall psychological experience of ketamine is about an hour in duration. Um, and then some patients find for about an hour after that, they may have some mild side effects like grogginess or blurry vision, but the vast majority of patients feel back to themselves within a few hours. But because of the side effects, we advise patients not to drive or operate heavy machinery or do anything mentally or physically taxing in the time of the day after a ketamine treatment session. And this graph I think is also nice because it can show that in the days or weeks following a ketamine session, you're really in a state of neuroplasticity where you're open to, to looking at your life in a novel way, implementing healthy behavioral changes. Um, you could work with a therapist to help integrate your experiences in more of a concrete manner. And then these effects on mood and anxiety tend to last for a couple of weeks on average and sometimes quite longer for many patients. So the antidepressant effects of ketamine, they're quite novel compared to traditional psychiatric medications like Prozac and Lexapro, which can sometimes take several months to have an effect and you have to take those medications daily. Ketamine can actually result in improved mood within four hours of one treatment session. And this improved mood can peak at 24 hours, which is really remarkable. Um, and then again, many patients report feeling an improvement in their mood for seven to 14 days following a single ketamine session. And for some patients, this improvement may last 30 days or longer. Um, based on the research and clinical studies, um, repeated ketamine sessions on a weekly or twice weekly basis for a period of time, 
can result in a sustained improvement of mood. Um, and also to note that what's important to note is that ketamine can be effective in patients who have not uh, had any success with other types of antidepressants, Prozac, Lexapro, Zoloft, mood stabilizers, TMS, ECT. Uh, ketamine can often be beneficial for these patients. And what's really amazing is about a third of patients with treatment-resistant depression achieve remission uh, from ketamine, and then approximately 50 to 75% of those patients have a clinical response from a single dose of ketamine with even higher rates of response and remission with repeated sessions. Um, the research has also shown that combining ketamine with psychotherapy can enhance and extend the, the benefits of ketamine on depression. Ketamine has also been shown to rapidly relieve suicidal thinking. Um, one session of ketamine can relieve suicidal thoughts for up to three days and potentially longer in some patients. Um, and then patients who experience this reduction in suicidal thoughts, it could happen as quickly as four hours after one uh, single ketamine session. These are just some graphs from major research studies on ketamine showing uh, a depression score in, a pa in patients going down quite rapidly within three days following a ketamine treatment session and as fast as 24 hours after a treatment session. Uh, this is a large uh, study using oral at-home ketamine tablets um, with a thousand, more than 1,000 patients. And again, this is showing a rapid reduction in depression symptoms after four treatment sessions. Another study highlighting a very similar benefit of ketamine uh, looked at over a thousand patients. They found even after within six sessions of ketamine treatment, uh, the majority of patients had quite a rapid decline in their depression and anxiety. And this is a study looking at combining psychotherapy with ketamine treatment, uh, showing that patients who did this combination treatment had a significant improvement in both their depression and anxiety uh, following the treatment. All right, now we'll spend the next few minutes going over interwells treatment programs, and I want to send, spend some time answering people's questions uh, for the remaining 10 minutes of this talk. So this is our website. Um, this is a highlight of a patient who uh, has been battling depression for 20 years, and um, she underwent ketamine treatment and through our program and had greater leap than she's ever experienced with ever, any other mental health treatment that she underwent, which is pretty amazing and something we see with, with quite a number of our patients. These are our cl clinicians here at Interwell. We have a variety of psychotherapists, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, two psychiatrists, including myself, um, who offer uh, ketamine treatment for patients. These are the two major plans that we offer. We have an eight dose foundation plan where patients take a total of eight ketamine treatment sessions or usually over the course of two months on a weekly basis. Sometimes patients can take ketamine on a twice weekly basis and complete this program within a month. Then we offer a 24 dose extended plan for patients to take ketamine over several months, uh, typically on a weekly or twice weekly basis for a total of 24 ketamine treatment sessions. And patients who have suffered more severe depression and chronic depression for many years uh, tend to benefit and gravitate more towards our 24 dose plan where the majority of other patients do really well after completing our eight dose foundation plan. This is our interval box that contains everything you'll need for your journeys. Uh, the inner well eye mask, which is very comfortable, our blood pressure cuff, a journal and pen, a uh, phone stand to put your phone to listen to music during your session. And then the box will also include your first two uh, ketamine treatment doses inside of it. Structure of our treatment program, this slide is a bit text heavy, but what I want to emphasize is that with our foundation program, again, it's eight treatment sessions, typically on a weekly or twice weekly basis. We have some uh, quite a few safety precautions in place, which I've mentioned, including fasting for three hours prior to starting, checking your blood pressure every time you start, and also having a sitter, uh, also known as a support person, physically present with you for each uh, treatment session. So this support person doesn't have to be right next to you for the entire two hour experience, but they should be within earshot um, at your home in case they need to come back in and check on you and offer some support to you. And this person can vary from week to week, depending on your schedule and their schedule, but it should be someone you trust and you can be there with you on site for two hours for each session. Um, and as I mentioned, the frequency is typically on a weekly or twice weekly basis, depending on your, your mental health condition and your schedule. Um, we also offer expert guidance through our psychotherapist. So if you're interested in adding psychotherapy onto your treatment plan, we have a variety of options that you can do that through. And the other thing to note is we offer one uh, included psychotherapy session with each plan. So you can meet with one of our therapists and talk about how adding therapy to your plan can be beneficial to you. 
Uh, as far as payments, we offer um, out of network reimbursement options. Uh, we're not in network with any insurance plans, but if your insurance plan offers out of network mental health benefits, we can provide you a super bill for each of your sessions that you could potentially get reimbursed to a certain degree through your insurance plan. Um, and these are just the, the standard billing codes that we use for each session. We also accept HSA and FSA cards in most cases. This is just a flow chart of our eight dose foundation plan, kind of walking you through the steps. Essentially, you complete a digital intake on our website. Um, and then once you get through that, you'll pick uh, one of our treatment plans and make your first payment. And then you're able to schedule uh, a, your first uh, psychiatric clinician appointment. And then based on that consult appointment where you're sort of determined if you're suitable to proceed with ketamine treatment, from that point, you'll receive your first two doses of ketamine and you'll complete those on a weekly or twice weekly basis. Then you meet with your psychiatric clinician again for a follow-up appointment, discuss how those two sessions went for you, and then you receive your next six doses of ketamine. You take those on a weekly or twice weekly basis, and then you meet with your final capsule appointment with your clinician, discuss how you're doing and you know, how much symptom relief did you have, are you making progress towards your treatment goals, and whether or not it'd be useful for you to continue with ongoing ketamine treatment at Interwell. Um, just something to note, we offer quite an extensive sitter support person guide on our website, and each sitter support person you select to work with you during your sessions at home, we provide them our FAQ, and we're happy to answer additional questions for them about what it means and what's involved in being your support person at home. This is just an example of what it might look like for you to take ketamine at home. If you want your support person next to you, um, your partner or friend, they could just be right next to you during the session. They could be in the room adjacent to you as long as they're within earshot. But typically you'll lie on the couch and put your eye shades on and listen to one of our curated music playlists. We also offer a variety of guided meditations on our app that you can utilize as well. These are common conditions we treat with uh, ketamine, the major ones being depression, anxiety, and PTSD. These are some contraindications to ketamine, um, some medical and psychiatric contraindications, including extensive heart disease, uh, being in a manic episode or history of psychotic symptoms. There's some medications you want to hold the same day of ketamine treatment. But the thing to note is the majority of medications, both psychiatric and medical, are safe to take with ketamine. So our prescription methods, so we work with a compounding pharmacy who makes oral dissolving tablets for us that range in strength from 50 to 400 milligrams. Again, the patients place tablets in their mouth for about 10 minutes, swishing around periodically and then spitting out the saliva after 10 minutes. And at that point, the ketamine effects tend to occur. And again, they last for about an hour in total. And then there's maybe about an hour of side effects if you have them after the experience is over. Uh, we offer a hybrid treatment model uh, currently in seven states. Uh, we have an office space right now in Manhattan, and we're in the process of opening offices uh, throughout these states uh, over the next month, where, we, where patients can come for an in-person appointment, um, or, or they can elect to do their entire treatment program virtually for the first 30 days of treatment. Um, and what's important to remember is that starting May 11th, the DEA is putting in new regulations, and at that point, um, patients will be able to complete our foundation program over the course of 30 days, but to continue treatment beyond 30 days, they'll have to come in for one in-person appointment. Um, if a patient wants to start with our 24 dose extended plan, which is going to obviously need treatment beyond 30 days, um, you'll have to have one per in-person visit uh, uh, to start that program, or at least be able to continue the program after the first eight doses. Uh, just a few slides about our psychotherapy model that I've kind of alluded to already. You can add psychotherapy sessions at any time throughout your program for an additional fee. Psychotherapy can be really helpful to help integrate your ketamine experiences and uh, make uh, more, you know, have better understanding of the realizations you may have and how you integrate those into your daily life. Uh, this is sort of the overview of the psychotherapy model we have. You can meet with your therapist to prepare for your ketamine journeys if you'd like. Um, you can even have one of our therapists be with you over Zoom for ketamine sessions for two hours. They can help guide you through your ketamine experiences. Some patients find it helpful to even complete one of these therapist guided sessions so they kind of feel more comfortable with ketamine's effects. And then from there, they can take the ketamine journeys on their own with their sitter present. And then our therapists also offer integration sessions within one to three days following one of your ketamine sessions where you can talk about what the experience is like for you and how to better integrate it into your daily life. This is just screenshots from our website, website showing how you can add on psychotherapy to your treatment plan, um, some of the costs for different psychotherapy sessions that we offer. Um, this is just a quote from uh, the psychiatrist who trained me on ketamine-assisted psychotherapy. I'm not going to read it now, but uh, I can send it out to all of you later. It's a really uh, 
nice quote about what the experience is like, both from a therapist's point of view and the patient's point of view. These are just screenshots from our patient portal or the, the, the app that we offer in terms of offering daily mood tracking. You can do journaling on the app. You can record your symptoms on a weekly basis. You can track how you're doing over time. You can set your treatment goals for yourself here. We offer a variety of resources on the app to learn more about ketamine and how to prepare for your journeys. Um, these are the playlists we offer. We have eight different curated music playlists that you can pick uh, depending on the kind of journey you want to have for yourself. And then we also offer a variety of guided meditations from Zen master Henry Shookman in the UK, who recorded a lot of really amazing meditations for us. And you can utilize these at any time during a ketamine session, before, after, however you'd like to use them in your life. And then this is just a screenshot showing what your journey can look like in our app in terms of your progress towards your treatment goals, uh, looking at your depression and anxiety levels over time. Um, and then this is gr a graph showing uh, several hundred patients that we treated thus far at Interwell and how their depression scores have declined very significantly, um, even within the first four weeks of treatment and then beyond uh, to 12 weeks of treatment. And then similarly, our anxiety scores in our patients have declined very rapidly within four weeks and then continue to decline um, over future weeks of treatment. That's it. These are the references for a lot of the research studies on ketamine and psychedelics. Uh, and that's it. So Appreciate you attending. I'm happy to take some questions for everyone now and I can answer them out loud. And then again, feel free to email me uh, via this email address. If you have any further questions or thoughts, you can also reach out to our support team if you have any questions about getting started with any of our plans. All right, so first question, uh, you briefly talked about this. Can you talk a little bit more about how we should think about selecting the eight dose plan versus the 24 dose plan? Yeah, so it's a good question. So again, people who are gravitating towards a 24 dose plan and who might be more suitable for the 24 dose plan tend to be patients who have very severe depression that's been very debilitating for them for many years. Uh, perhaps they tried a lot of different antidepressants, TMS, other types of depression treatment and just haven't found relief. Typically these patients will require a longer duration of ketamine treatment to get better um, compared to patients with more mild to moderate uh, depression. So that's one way, I think that's the kind of the major way to think about it. That being said, patients with mild to moderate depression, PTSD or anxiety can also benefit in other ways from an extended program through us, but it's not necessarily required for them to get significantly better compared to our eight dose foundation plan. All right, next question, is psychotherapy necessary for getting the best results? Also a really wonderful question. Um, I would say just in general, uh, and you look at the, any kind of mental health treatment, including traditional treatment, when you combine medications with psychotherapy, the results are almost always better. Now, th that doesn't necessarily mean every patient needs to have therapy along with ketamine, but I would say patients who are very much more interested in exploring on a deeper level, some of the insights may, they may have from ketamine experiences, they want to work with one of our therapists who's certified in ketamine assisted psychotherapy, that therapist can maybe really help them uh, understand more of the insights and things that can come up from the unconscious during a ketamine session, help them process that in a more meaningful way. You know, patients with uh, extensive trauma histories or PTSD um, who want that added support from a therapist, either guiding them through their sessions or helping them process some of the traumatic memories they may want to talk about more from their ketamine sessions, that, that can be a really useful way of uh, comparing uh, psychotherapy uh, with ketamine treatment. And then another subset of patients maybe want to do a couple therapist-led sessions or one just to be uh, more familiar with the ketamine experience and have an expert therapist along with them for you know the first first or second session and from there they can more, do it more uh, independently and then if needed they can meet with a therapist as needed for you know additional integration support and things like that and then another subset of our patients um, they already work with the therapist outside of interwell we very much encourage our patients to continue working with their outside therapists and talking with them about their academy experiences and how they're integrating them into their daily lives. So that's another option for patients too. All right, let's see here. Great, any more questions from anyone today? Am I able to select my therapist? Yeah, so we have, uh, close to a couple dozen therapists available here at Interwell, and each of them have a very unique background. Some of them are trained in cognitive behavioral therapy. Some do more psychodynamic work. 
They've all been certified in ketamine-assisted psychotherapy. So you're able to look at their bios on our website and then find one that seems like a good match for you in terms of their their interests and their backgrounds and then what you're hoping to work on uh, in your in your treatment program here. Uh, that's a good way of getting yourself matched with one of our therapists who's a good fit for you. And then again, you know, if every now and then a therapist isn't a great fit, you can always have an opportunity to, to work with a different therapist if you find that the first therapist you meet with isn't a good fit for you. So we have one minute left. Any other questions or thoughts about our treatment programs, um, our models that we use, what, what the academy experience might be like? All right, so I think we're just about finished here. Um, wait, let's see, maybe one more question. Are you going to offer more plans in the future with different psychedelics or dosing? Yeah, it's a wonderful question. So we do envision Interwell becoming a comprehensive psychedelic clinic. Ketamine is the first psychedelic legally available here in the US. But as other psychedelics become available, like psilocybin and MDMA, uh, we definitely anticipate and plan on offering those uh, treatment options as well for patients. And we'll be able to customize dosing and plans depending on the patient's condition, uh, what they're hoping to work on in their, in their programs here. All right, everyone, thanks again for joining. And again, you can email me anytime with questions or reach out to our support team about starting a, a plan with us. Uh, and I appreciate you coming out today. Thank you. <laughs>